Hello, this is Trevor Sheridan from AppleAndApps.com, and we got the new MacBook Air, the 13-inch version that just came out on July 20th. These have the new Sandy Bridge processors and Thunderbolt port. So let's uh, take a look at the new ultra-thin laptop from Apple. First off, the exterior design is the same as the previous generation, with 0.68 inches at the thickest and 0.11 inches at the thinnest. The same aluminum unibody construction also returns, and the device still has uh, flash storage for solid state drive for quick instant on access like the iPad and it has uh, 128 gigs of storage, 4 gigabytes of memory comes standard and has the 1.7 gigahertz Sandy Bridge processor. The MacBook Air has always been known for ultra portability but the horsepower hasn't always gone with that portability and that has been reserved for the MacBook Pro or the desktop lines of Macs. But now that this MacBook Air might change that. It still has the same thin form factor as you can see. But the real difference is under the hood, as we mentioned earlier with all the new hardware inside the computer. The new MacBook Air shipped with OS X 10.7 Lion. But inside the box it only comes with the computer, the manual, and two power AV adapters. Speaking of adapters, let's plug in the MagSafe power and get this MacBook Air started up. Now let's press the power button and time how long it takes for this MacBook Air to be completely up and running and being able to use opening programs and such. And here we go, that's about 18 seconds by our count. That's quite amazing to get your computer completely up and running. We can see we start opening programs already. And now also the same multi-touch trackpad is included, but with Lion, it seems that much more of a great feature because there's so many new multi-touch gestures in Lion to access launch pad, mission control, show the desktop, switch between full screen apps, and all that. Now let's close the MacBook Air and see how quick it restarts from sleep. This is where the all-flash-based solid-state drive storage system comes into play, and this is instant on capability for a computer and you can be back up and running within seconds. Another new feature is the backlit keyboard which was gone for a few generations and now is back and also there's new mission control and launch pad keys on the MacBook Air. The one other addition is the Thunderbolt port which we can hopefully show you here and really that's the new MacBook Air. We're going to put it through a bunch of tests over the coming days, and we'll have a bunch of articles up on AppleAndApps.com. We hope you enjoyed our unboxing, and now we're off to go play around with the 13-inch Sandy Bridge MacBook Air. Thank you.